Okay, so as a follow-up for the last video on protectionism, today we're going to talk about a very specific um, current example. Now, this is very good for your IA in IB economics or um, an SE in A-level economics. Um, so this is all over the news. If you do a simple Google search about tariffs, this will come up. So today we're going to be talking about the economics of Trump's tariff on Chinese steel. Okay, so the problem is, the key economic problem is that uh, the US is arguing that Chinese, China is dumping steel on the American market. So in the IA and the IB, what you've got to do is you've got to define what dumping is in the first paragraph. So dumping is selling a good below production price. And you might ask, how can a company sell their goods below the cost to produce it? The way they do that, especially in China, and think about China, it's traditionally a communist country with lots of state-owned industries, is through massive subsidies. So if we look at this diagram here, the market for steel, now, this is a subsidy diagram with our classic S-world um, curve. So we've got the market for steel, uh, and this is the supply domestic in China, and this is the supply of steel produced in China with a subsidy. Now note this, this is a very, very large subsidy, um, therefore they're able to push it on the international market for a very very low price. Now at the same time as this is happening, um, the market, market for US steel workers, this is the traditional uh, employment diagram, the demand for American steel workers has decreased. Now of course as more steel is uh, imported from China, the demand for steel workers in the US is declining. Now that means there's unemployment. So you'll note that uh, in many of Trump's speeches, he has um, directly targeted those workers by saying that by introducing protectionism, they will pro protect their jobs. I don't know if you've seen South Park. Uh, the whole, uh, recently, the most recent episode was they took our jobs. It is the same argument. And uh, Trump's solution to that is to introduce a tariff. Now the tariff diagram down here, again, we've got the market for steel, we've got supply world, and we have the supply world plus tariff. I explained that a little bit in the, the last um, video, but we'll have a look at it again so with the application of the tariff, we can see that the price of uh, imported steel has increased. And with that, there's a decrease in the quantity demanded of foreign steel. Okay. And at the same time, there is an increase in quantity demanded of domestic steel. So if we look back at the diagram here, the unemployment diagram, that means that the US steel will increase production from Q1 to Q3, helping save those American steel workers' jobs. You think, oh, that sounds like a great idea. Also, the government will be earning an extra revenue, which is represented by this box here, B and C. So everyone will be there and say, oh, that sounds like a great idea. Most people go, oh, wow, protecting jobs, getting more government re revenue. What a wonderful idea. Let's do it. So in the 1920s, uh, the government introduced um, this and many, many other times in history they've introduced these types of tariffs. But there's a big problem here. And that's why 90% of economists are around about that, will argue that tariffs are a really bad idea. So if we think about steel, 
So steel is an intermediate good. That means steel is being used to produce something else. So even if we look at this, who is demanding steel? I'm not demanding steel. I don't order a whole bunch of steel from, uh, uh, from uh, China or America or whatever. The customers who are buying steel are things like the car industry and the building industry, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that means with this tariff, there will be higher costs for those industries. And if there are higher costs for those industries, there will be a possibility of unemployment. So you're preventing unemployment for the steel workers, but you may possibly be increasing unemployment in the car industry. It's not a good thing. The other danger of uh, employing a tariff is that there could be a trade war. Now, how is China gonna to react to massive tariffs on uh, Chinese steel? They could easily put a tariff on some American goods. And the last one is misallocation of resources. Now, if the American uh, steel industry is inefficient, why on earth should they be protected? Why not let steel be produced elsewhere if they can produce it at lower costs and more efficiently? So that was uh, our quick video on, the, on Trump's tariff on Chinese steel. It's a very, very good topic to write your IA on because there's lots of information and there's lots of diagrams you can use and uh, explain. Um, so your 750 words should be really easy. And of course, if you look it up online, if you go to Google News and type Tariff China, there will be hundreds of links and many, many newspapers about this issue. Okay, thanks very much. Good luck with your essay. Done. <clears throat> First take, wow, that's good. Yeah.